Alright guys, welcome back to Lego Harry Potter. As you can see, I've got some uh, daft lavender brown stood here blowing kisses to me and shit. I'm glad I've got at least one fan. That's it. Um, joined with old... Matt. Go on, then. That's the one. <laughs> um, Matt's just doing an upside down, love heart, so I think it's time to get out of here, really, isn't it? Yeah, how, how long is she going to follow us for? Let's go. go I don't know. Okay, she's gone, thank God. Doesn't she oh, die in the book? Uh, at some and point, I gets, believe she does. Is it right towards the end? She gets attacked by Fenrir, doesn't she? She gets all those mauled that by seen, the werewolf. Like the ten-year-old film or whatever it is. Hmm. Aye. Hmm. Ah, okay. So we learned Agumente, didn't we, last time? Quite right, we did, and that was quite fun. We, we did. Spent an age, actually, we spent an age going through, uh, trying to figure out what we're yes. doing. Yeah. It looks so, like we're finally learning a spell to destroy these things. I don't know what. Isn't this the spell we've already got, though? Uh, yes. We've it is. definitely already used that spell in years one to four. I think we've already used that spell in this. I think we have. I don't quite know what they're getting at, to be honest. I'm not too sure yet. That's... I'm getting a little bit of lag, but not too much, thankfully. So, what's this going to achieve then by uh, destroying all these? I'm not sure. I'm hoping Flitwick will uh, tell us. It's a lag uh, game, so, so it's pretty cool. unlikely. Okay. I'm just oh, obsessed nice. with it, blue studs. Well, I think that looks like something straight out of, um, uh, yeah, Star Wars. I don't know why. Does look like it. it looks like one of those Coca Cola droids in Florida that sell like the, the Coca Cola bottles. Yeah. Reductive. I thought it was really cool as well that in Florida when, when we went to Hollywood Studios and we went to the Star Wars section, um, everything actually, ha it was priced in um, galactic credits instead of dollars, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, that's awesome. Aguamente! Aqua erupte! It actually walks through it. Well, I can't blame you, I really can't. Where's that supposed to go? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, makes sense. Oh right, yeah. Makes He's a narcissist, sense. isn't he? He just he brought us here purely to unlock him as a character. Definitely. Right, so what now? I'm slightly confused. Oh. Are we supposed to blow up like all the small sections? All oh, the small sections. <laughs> oh, what's this? Some spec to spec. Uh, oh. Supposed to do it. <clears throat> Alright. What are you going to do with that? Yeah, same. <laughs> okay, that was a bit strange. We're unlocking a lot of characters, aren't we? Yeah. I will quickly say, just before we started recording in the section we were at at the start of the video, we did unlock Susan Bones somehow. I can't remember we how did, we did We did, yeah. That. We did. Um, we also got a golden brick. Block and block we also... Yes, that we did. Uh, right, so this is the only one left, shortly. I'm very confused on what it is we're supposed to be doing. Well, I'm sure the answer will jump out us soon enough. If it's anything like um, having to get Mr. Weasley's wrench and fixing the washing machine in my <laughs> Then I'm sure soon. it won't. No. Oh, well, hang on. Can Hold I up, though, yeah. We're supposed to... mm. Oh, I can't get scabbers, though, can I? Because it's. Hermione, are you okay? Is there anything we can do? Can... I don't think Crook can yes, go... Yes, as you mention it. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I'm rather gifted what with memory charms. 
Oh. What was the point in that? There must be something to do there. Control magical character to what? What did it say? Can't. It said you need to control a magical character to lift objects or something over there. Oh, you need to control oh, yeah. a magical character to lift Lego objects using magic. What? What was supposed to be lifted? Oh, is it um, something here we're supposed to lift up for Crookshanks or what? Well, there's another thing we need to blow up there. I'm not sure that's actually done anything, but yeah. Hang on. Did something glow purple? Oh no, it's just respect. Huh. This is so oh, what? There's so much going off, but none of it's any use. No, it's all just extra studs. It'd help if the lag would go away for two minutes. Yeah, that's a shame. Not unplayable, but it is annoying. <coughs> So it looks like we're supposed to be filling in the gap for these red things, or maybe not, maybe that's just a hint on what we're supposed to be doing, but... Well that's something to do with, uh it's the fish, isn't it? Yeah, so that fish was to do with that, but... Do you know what, shall we try leaving the room and coming back in and seeing if anything changes? Because the only objective we had was to destroy those five silver statues and we've done that. Uh, we could do. Let's leave and come back in. Now! Oh, that was all we're supposed to do, right? That was. Oh, so strange. when it said to lift something or other, that's probably free play, no doubt. Yeah. Well, it's a good job you told be. us to leave then, because we're doing wandering around like yeah. headless chickens for ages, like trying to figure out what we weren't supposed to do. Exactly. Like I was just thinking to myself, like our objective was five statues. We destroyed them, we got the reward, and then the objective never updated. It's a good job you had that thought. Well, is that something to do with this as well, then? <coughs> um, doesn't seem to be anything in there, though, which is annoying. I'm just thinking because yeah. the entrance like, looked like it. It did. Oh, I don't know. I agree. Are we both supposed to pull these down? I assume we are. Yeah. Time. Tell you what, when it comes around to doing free play um, on that stream we've got planned, I think I'll... Maybe not look how to get absolutely everything, but I'll get a rough guide in my head so that we're not just walking around for hours on end. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Not only probably a good idea, it's definitely a good idea. <clears throat> oh look, it's a singular green Lego brick. Have we used the um, pensive on previous levels? Yes, I think we have. I couldn't tell I you think... exactly which. Oh yes, I know we had at least the one level, didn't we, where we went back to Party Crouch Jr.'s um, court here in, in Goblet of Fire. We did. I think. To be honest mate, it's a half a time, I think these levels I'm remembering are just fever dreams. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. So as a random question while we're just walking to the objective, do you have a favourite year from 1 to 7 so far after playing this? Like, out based on missions and stuff? Um, I've not really thought as much about it, but um, maybe... Oh, maybe year... Why do I want to say 4? It had some really good levels, didn't it? Where's that supposed to go? Oh, it's just one of these potion ingredients, isn't it? I think it's like an optional thing. Hang on, we've got a student in peril up there again. And we still don't have the spell to get it down. No, yeah, it's probably something to do with this glowing thing here, isn't it? Do we need a dark magic guy for? Mm, could well be, you're right. It's not the first one we've come across that's been wrapped up in vines recently either. I wonder, if it, I wonder if it's something to do with like, well, you have to light something on fire there to burn him out. 
Yeah. Perhaps, to be honest. Um, oh, hang on. Do I have to over here? So I just want to see if Aguamente will work on that fire. It will. Nice. Uh, do you want to join me in doing it? So oh, yeah, yeah. It's like probably a good idea, isn't it? Just remember the golden rule of Ghostbusters, mate. Never cross the streams. Now, unless, is there an, a torch on the opposite side? No, never mind. There is Filch though, with a rain cloud above his head. Right, let's uh, crack on, as we used to say all the time. Wait, what do. Hang on a minute, we did something with that rain cloud on that level, didn't we? Was it this one? No, which, which one was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we've cheered Filch up, haven't we? What? <laughs> okay. We'll take that. So the fire's too large to be part of with Aguamente. So I guess maybe... I don't know, let's leave it for the free play stream, I suppose. Huh? Mm -hmm. I suspect that's the first and last time we'll be helping Filch. Oh yeah, most definitely. Well, at least we're collecting all the studs and everything that we can for free play. Exactly, it'll be useful, because I, I don't know if we'll need to, but either way it'll be funny just to buy all those extra spells, like the one that makes you dance and the, the pumpkin head charm and all that stuff. I, mean, I thought you said the one that makes you dance. <laughs> hey, oh, another dark magic thing we have to use. Oh, where's Hedwig? Good question. Have we gone here or is she? That looked like Hedwig, didn't it? Trapped huh? inside the dark magic thing. Oh, no, yeah. no, there she is. Hang on, mate, I'm getting an awful lag spike when it's freezing a bit. There we go. Well, that's another red brick. Oh, I wonder what we've unlocked. Dud magnet. Now that's going to be exceedingly useful. Say no more, we, to we need to buy it. Though, it. Don't we? Yep. Oh, do you know what? We've got to do that off camera at the end of this because that's going to be an extremely useful one. That might actually be even better than um, Ghost Studs. I would have thought so, to be quite honest. Right, let's follow Nick. Let's follow Demimsy Porpington. We only need one more of those chandeliers. And here, here they are. Not McClagger. Huh? We're certainly getting a lot of blue studs this episode, aren't we? Certainly. <clears throat> I've also apparently got a frog in my throat with how much I'm I can almost see it being quite a long episode, actually, though, because I think how much we've got through already, and it's uh, yeah. only half done. Oh, here we go. What's the matter with Wallenby? I think when he went, ooh, then he did sound a little bit like uh, the actor Broadbent. He did, didn't he? I was hoping I'd get to play as him in this as well. So we need Aguamente. Oh, sorry, Cheers, Pat. Sir. Is that someone in painting that's crying? I'm not sure, I think it might be. Oh, we've got True Wizard, just realised. Yeah, we're on mission now, aren't we? Uh, I'm not sure what this is for, but I'm not going to use it just yet, because I think we're probably best off destroying everything in room, aren't we, to get our hands on um, studs. Indeed. 
Oh, we're supposed to use Reducto for that ball. I think we need three potion ingredients, so if we're just like, I've just put one in, you're gonna put that one in. If we just avoid putting the last one in, it should be alright. Try and get as many studs as possible, so I don't know how long the level's going to be. That'll be the last potion ingredient, won't it? Well, yeah, imagine so. There must be a way to help this portrait if it's sat crying. So. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yeah. It's got some studs, so it's useful. Pretty cool for that. Just trying to hit the chair. There we go. You might be best off just going for it now, you know, because I bet in, at next step we can help that Probably guy with portrait. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, this is for. Oh. Let's see. So I want to put oh, him back on here. Yeah, Giving us studs at least. <laughs> they just wanted a banging tune, didn't they? I wonder who can do that, whether you can. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a free play thing, I bet. You have to if pull that as a strong strength character. Potion. Actually, I think that's probably what this is. We're going to have to get the strength potion and then pull that open to get the bizarre. <clears throat> Never mind. That would be a free play thing. Yeah. And I think it's locked as well. <laughs> 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 Ron. What's the matter with Wemby? There we go, now we're going to have to open that. So yeah, it's not a free path. We just need to figure out how we're going to open it. Someone tells me it's not going to take too much figuring out. No. It'd be nice if that just rained purple studs, wouldn't it? Oh, definitely. No shadow of a doubt. Well, that'll do for now. There it does. Oh no, that is a free play thing, you're right. It's this for looking at anything. It's just a silver stud, isn't it? <laughs> and he's back. Then Malfoy, what you up to? Poor bird. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Are we gonna follow Malfoy now, maybe? Hmm. I was going to say, there's definitely not enough. Oh. Well, mate, let's not defeat him just yet, because I think this is going to be another way to get a lot of stuff. Just going to be figuring out how to do it. So I'm it? guessing the, um, the correctly coloured spell is the one his side, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it is. yeah it's, it's lighting up to tell me that. Anything I can smash for studs whilst you're doing this, I wonder. Huh? 
let's go, Potter. What? So that was the correct colored ball, isn't it? Oh, Christ, can I get these studs? So now we've got. Nice if I could just attack anybody. <laughs> nice one, pal. Now Malfoy is taking the uh, big L. Well, I'm knocking his block off. Right, get out of here. I don't think we've seen the last of him. He's no, on shit to know. <laughs> I just need to uh, empty my balance. Come oh, mate, you feel free to do that. We're gonna get some studs. Right, that's gonna be a free play. Oh thing. yeah, if you wanna uh, cast your Agua at that. Hang on, pal, is there something I can do over there with it as well? Um, you can, it's can't just gonna take a while. I think it's only, only when I come off it and then put it back up that it actually does anything. Wait, do we have to... Oh yeah, so it's oh, second one will be here. Two more, yeah. right? This will be the second one, I think. Me... No, there's, the, there's two more urinals around there, pal. Oh, right, okay, got you. Can we get around two? I bet we can't get to them anyway without destroying this gun, which is not really much fun. Any time today. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Right, so that's what something to do with this. Can you get scabbers on this? You can't, can you? No. Yeah, it's gone over the days of scabbers. Yeah, unfortunately. If we just had Hermione, it might be alright. Shame, Harry doesn't have no secret pets that we need to know about. Why did it show us over there though? That's what I'm confused about. See, my worry is if it, even if I filled up those two over there, even if I could, would it not just drop the uh, reward over there and then we wouldn't be able to get to yeah, that I'm not sure about. This is obviously in the way, isn't it? And that's a dark magic thing. Uh, so what is it we need to do again? Exactly? That's also a dark magic thing. It's also a malfiant shitter. Hmm. I'm unsure how to get him off the bar. There's something to do with that a bit there. No, not fine. God, there's so many free play things in this level. There is. Um. Yeah, how do we get him back out? Because you can do something with door. Yeah. Um. What spell is it? It's the orange one, isn't it? The reductor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Beliefs. It's definitely not like there's nothing we can do with this so much as any other way. Not sure how we're supposed to get him out of there, but I'm guaranteed it'll be something that we're overlooking over here. Hang on. For feck's sake, I do have a pet, don't I? I've got Pigwidge. Hey? Since when? Yeah, so I was just thinking the same. I, I just remembered seeing it's it who? on the thing, but it's Pigwidgeon. Pigwidgeon? Yeah, you know Pigwidgeon. Do I? He's Almost not in the films, actually. He's, he's in the books. That'll be why, then. In 
in, in the box. Um, because Sirius obviously exposes Wormtail and causes Ron to no longer have scabbers, um, Sirius feels bad and sends Ron an owl called Pig Vigil. I think I'm sure it's Pig Vigil because Ron calls it Pig. Yeah. Sadly cut out the films, which is a shame because it's quite funny. Is that it, is it? We're going to fucking blow them out fire. i read all the books, to be honest with you. I keep getting so far with them. Have you got them all? Um, and I did start on audiobooks as well, then I would help. But... Yeah, definitely listen to the audiobooks, mate. They're such good books. I wouldn't know where to pick up from now, because I was on Goblet of Fire. Is that how far you got? Yeah, I think so. How long ago was it? We're talking like 2018 or uh, sorry, we're talking 2019 ages ago, I think, or 2020, yeah. aren't we? So I remember listening to the same audio book on the way to YouTube. I'd say just start a Goblet of Fire again from start, mate. If you've not read it in a while. Yeah, I'll have to do that. I think it was the one with the most differences as well, from what I remember. Absolutely. Well, in the film, you don't even see the start deal where, like, um, Harry has to convince the Dursleys to let him go to the Quidditch World Cup, and then Arthur Weasley blows the fireplace open. Mm. <laughs> What a spell. Hope it don't abruptly end with us not getting true wizard, but oh well if it does. I think we're gonna have one more section where we've been it in the room of requirement. Slightly longer part than this, I see. Don't know, I can't remember what time we started exactly, but probably just over half an hour, who knows. Yeah. I suppose there's nothing wrong with longer parts now and then, is there? I could have swore we weren't going to get in there. <laughs> what a beast. Got up something like that every now and then. You have. Very like Legend of Pirates on the line. But... Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Which I really need to get back on. Same, it's been a day or two since I've been on it. Been doing good progress. I just need to so properly get back into it because I was really getting into it at one point. And I, and I waited ages to try and unlock the uh, Raven's Cove and then realised how solid it is and never recorded it. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, Bilgewater is equally as solid, isn't it? That's like a really difficult place. Everything's level 55 or... I think it's 55. I could be talking about being arts, but... Yeah, everything seems to be aimed at, like, high-level characters. Yeah, which is understandable because I'd imagine that's, like, you know, I don't know, actually. Is it understandable? I don't see anything particularly bad about making new content for mid-game players and stuff. Yeah. Huh. yeah. That's alright. How am I supposed to get that though is the question. I agree, I'm not too sure on that one's a blue stud, that helps. So has it got something to do with this? Do you need to get like your pet out or something? Or I've already, already done, done that, that, mate. <laughs> yeah, I've already done that. Oh, it's gonna need um No it's not. I need someone who knows what they're doing, that's what it's gonna need. <laughs> I think we need the strength potion to get through there, don't we? But what yeah, do we need to do with this troll? We need to do something with this troll, surely. Um The fact this purple base is here tells me that maybe we need to put something on it. Oh, okay. We do we we do have that spell. Oh yeah, it's this one. Yeah. Well done, <laughs> Mr. Potter. 
didn't even unclick. Right, so now, I imagine we can just waltz on up and get it. You'd imagine so. Fall off. I just had a huge lag spike, that's not good. To be honest though, I don't know whether True Wizard will quite be possible, you know, just because of the fact there's so much free play stuff. Yeah, true. We'll find out. We will. I'm not going to quite give up. We'll hope, be no. uh, awfully close. So this is something Arthur Weasley can repair. Ah, it is, yeah. That's yet more studs, which is good. Well, we're not far off, are we, at all? That's the problem. You would assume. Huh? Oh, we can't actually do that. Oh, excellent. Actually. Is it only a Weasley can do that? I'm not surprised if it was. Apparently so. What's that supposed to be achieving? Because I can't move it any further. I think we need to clear the obstacle first. Right, let's have a really good look around for studs because we're so close. Definitely pick up all these silvers if we can get to them in time. Or is there anything else back here that we can perhaps blow up before we proceed to that bit we are in now? Blue stud. Ooh. Right, so there might be more hidden blue studs, I'm not entirely sure. Probably not back here though. Where did they get chucked out? Oh, there. It's a dark magic Hang on. thing. Can't we? We can blow this up, can't we? We can indeed. Might just be enough to do it. Might just be enough to not do it. Nice. There we go. Bloody lag spike there. Oh, right, you can do that, can you? Are you Ginny? You are, aren't you? I am, yeah. So you I wanna... did not realise that. Yep. Hooray! Please play the Hogwarts March. Close enough. Yeah, not quite, but I'll take it. <laughs> well. Okay. Alright. He's on one. I don't think we needed to worry, did we? No, I did have a feeling we'd get like right towards the end and then get a load of like blue studs or purples or something. I'll tell you what, the reason I get so paranoid with it is if you go back and look at all our uh, years 1 to 4 videos, yeah, there's so we many where we, we're just there and then we don't get it. There was one on uh, the very first level of the Order of the Phoenix that I rewatched us do recently. Yeah. Where it was exactly like that. Like we went all through Ministry of Magic and we got right to the end and we had like 98% or something. I should go for another drink. It's probably yeah, go for it. It picked up by the microphone, I do apologise. Yeah, it's not. I didn't really pick out up to be honest. A little bit of something perhaps. Not quite munching crisps, is it? Is that something else that Weasley can repair? I believe so. Ooh. It's got like those blue things coming off it. It had some steam coming off it and it looked similar to it. Yeah. Hmm. Yay, the bird's still alive. Quite a fun level, that. Quite a lot of stages to it. Yeah, perfect. True wizard as well, which is always nice. A lot more studs. About to break two million, aren't we? See. Looking that way.
All right, let's continue. Dun, dun, dun. There we go again. Hmm. Ah, we're on the Felix Felicius level, are we? I remember the level on um, the level on the Half Blood Prince game on the Xbox 360 where you drank that, and then you got into a fight with Malfoy and Crab and Goyle, and all of their spells would just magically bounce off you, and you would hit them every single time. Yeah, I'm not sure why you're. Uh, oh, oh, you're not. I was going to say, don't know why you're Harry now, but you're not. I am now, apparently. Oh. Well, that's fair play, isn't it? Uh, right, know, we... This is probably a good place to end it. Yeah, I was thinking the same. We don't want to drag it out too much longer, but that'll be uh, a decent next episode, I think. So. Yeah, I agree. Once again, thank you for joining us. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>